Hi everyone, welcome to Noble Creative Tutorials. Today we are going to see how to create a liquid animation in Adobe After Effects without using any third-party plugins. In this tutorial, it's actually going to be easy to create this kind of uh, liquidy animations just by using a shape layer and some effects to create it. Uh, as you can see in this first example, uh, liquid is going through a path and you can make it different as you want in different paths uh, as in the second example here the same techniques we're going to create this uh, the first one so let's get started create your composition and then create shape layer and delete everything there just and just add the path stroke and trimming paths that we need for now and uh, copy the paths that you want your paths you want to to be created and then on stroke, we are going to width and make it something bigger. And on a line cap, we are going to make a round cap there. And then we are going to animate trimming path. Just uh, maybe four frame. Uh, Keyframe the start and the end and put them at zero. Maybe at uh, something like uh, 25. Put them 100 the start and the end and then just offset two keyframes and offset the last keyframe of starts and the first keyframe of the start as well just to create something like this that, that's what we need for now and then we're going to actually animate the stroke path as well we want to want it to start like thinner and then getting thicker there maybe and then the same thing at the end make it like that and then we are going to add a wiggle pads wiggle pads is just like adding some noisy to struck like like a noise effects so when you change, we change the size, you see what's happening and details. Let's see, put something like that for the first one. And it's going to look like this. And let's actually make that just like that. And then duplicate this shape layer and then offset by one key. Uh, by by one frame and then just uh, to just uh, to make the variation we are just going to uh, change the keyframes here the start at the end maybe easy is them you know just just to create the variation that's the point of it and changing the size uh, details and then duplicate one more time offset one maybe two keyframes um two frames sorry and then the same thing we're going to just add the variation to to that the point of this is just to make to make it look different the stroke as well i'm going to make it just really The point of this is the variations. Maybe keyframe this. Um, So just to make the, the variations, we just want the variations, something like that. Okay, that's look fine for now. And now we're going to duplicate the first one and, and put it at top. Same thing, offset the layer and then open this one. Going to create a group here and put everything inside the group. We 
let's call this shape one duplicate it on shape two we're going to delete the wiggle pads let's solo this to see what's happened there let's turn off the shape one that's what we have on shape two we are going to add this effect called poker and plots and then put it right after the path one and then add amounts something like there and then changing the stroke and make it dashes there and gaps and just to give the point of this is actually to create like dots there just to make it look like um splashes the water splash something like that okay that's look good let's turn on everything back all together it's going to look something like this uh, i think this end here this one this shape have to we change the, the stroke actually it's thicker this one have to be something like this and then some variations and also we need the we need the, the where is it stroke yeah stroke with this one uh yeah for the dots just something like that okay so we have this but nothing look great yet so we're going to make it great by adding the effects that we need let's create um adjustment layer adjustment layer it's called uh, a fix and then adding roughing edges by adding that you see what actually is doing is like taking the or like softened edges of all the shapes and we're going to make the borders really something higher like that uh, the scale and the fractal influence Maybe something like that stretch and width or height maybe just like subtle effects for now it's something look like this and then we are going to add a turbulence displace and let's make the amount 30 there and the size 30 you can just play and see how what well, the you know doesn't really mean it have to be 30 but how it's going to look like and then maybe change the complexity something just like three I'm going to add more border uh, that's too much just something like that scale maybe scale too much scale and then we are going to uh, evolution and then add expression there times expression the same for turbulence evolution time maybe 400 so just to give it give us something like this and you can add more like a variations you always can tweak things there you know to make it look the way you want and should be that's that's actually what is about you know to make it oh well, maybe we, we can the first one we can like keyframe keyframe and play on things to make it look more dynamics and now we going to add one more things for this yeah, call, uh, a fix called a bevel bevel alpha 
what people offer is doing like it's add like a dimension to this flat liquid just like you add in lights as you can see here let's keep the intensity just around there and you can make the angle you want and then let's add a motion blur to that let's make those dots bigger uh, here uh, dots here now where are the dots okay shape to shape and let's make the amount of yeah make that something like there let's give the variation is always about making things look kind of here's the gaps we have to put more gaps there more gaps maybe it's Oh, we have more strokes there. You know, you get the idea of, of doing this. So as you see, you get the idea, you can create more, you can refine it more to make it look great. And you can actually uh, create a, a control layer to actually have the, the control over everything like stroke size. Instead of going to change the stroke of each one, you can make a master control for all the stroke size, roughing edges and wiggle size. And you can just from there make a different looks to all things without keyframing and so on. And even changing the lights the light angles and all that things details so you get the idea hope you like this tutorial if you have questions put it in the comments and if you like the video please like and subscribe for more videos coming soon thank you for watching